So today I'm on the road, my trusty driver, partner in crime, and we are on our way to LA for BlitheCon, yay! If I seem excited, it's because I am listening to 80s music, and this is like the first time in a week that I haven't felt like dying because I've been so sick this week. So sick, in fact, that I haven't even like been able to, um, I haven't done any dolling. Turn this down. And I had to pass on flying to Minnesota for delinquency, which made me so sad. And I found myself getting a little bit better and I was able to score a couple tickets to BlytheCon. So we're on our way. Uh, first, we're going to stop in for some breakfast though. And um, why don't you come in with us?
went, I don't even know what time it is right now, but uh, we went downstairs into the basement. We're at the Reef in LA here, and it's been fun so far. Yay, no panic attack, woohoo. I gotta admit that my health is, I'm fading a little bit, but I've been so excited. I met a couple of brand new people. That was, it was awesome, so thank you for coming to say hello. <laughs> so I didn't have another panic attack, but um, Blanca, what? This woman is awesome, I love her, and I had no idea she was an artist too. It's like, everybody I meet is an artist, it's crazy. <laughs> Everybody's more talented than I am. Uh, I met someone named Lisa, who was this gorgeous redheaded woman, and um, Reina, gosh, I, I'm so thankful that you guys came and say, said hello. Uh, kind of taking a break right now. I feel like there's an echo in here, so sorry. Um, trying to decide what we're gonna do next and just kind of sitting down for a minute. But it's been awesome, huge crowd, uh, lots of awesome vendors, and uh, I think I'm gonna go back in. So the first step I wanted to show you was what came in the um, the goodie bag. So the cost of BlytheCon was about $75 a ticket. This is the goodie bag. It's really fun, especially in uh, California. It's great to have these reusable bags. So this bag will be showing up with me every time I go get groceries. But um, here's some of the stuff that I got. Uh, the mug actually I paid for, it was $10, but I had to have one. Um, so there are these adorable postcards and this was kind of cool between the buttons, this little skirt. I had two of these dresses. Obviously the person who went with me was not interested in the doll stuff so I got that version and this adorable blue dress. And some other fun stuff. I've actually purchased this. These are from Crate Craft. I was so excited to see this vendor. I got a couple of shoes for my friend Leah also. Uh, I think one of the really cool things was a lot of the vendors were putting like little free gifts for purchase. And so I'd gotten these adorable stockings. Um, the BlytheCon uh, logo. It's on stickers and notepads and buttons and my personal favorite the pin this is my second BlytheCon pin so I'm really excited to start that collection um, this is fun these little um, like clothesline pins uh, what else this was another free gift can you believe that you guys it's a little pet dog speaking of pets someone's made herself very comfortable checking out the loot some other fun stuff, like look at this. This is like a tiny little Blythe Oscar. I mean, it is in LA after all. This is a fun magazine. Cute is that. Uh, here's another skirt from Between the Buttons. Uh, this was fun. I just thought that's, it's got that little, like a movie thing and a Hollywood star. So cute. Socks and buttons. My favorite, like, um, vendor, Snuggle Farts. I mean, that's just a great name. This little tiara. Lots of eye chips. So each one of the goodie bags had two pairs of eye chips. One of these sparkly galaxy eyes, and then from BW Dolls, these clear eyes. This is kind of fun because you can paint whatever you want. Um, and then last but certainly not least, from the goodie bag standpoint, this is for BlytheCon Minneapolis. Uh, I gotta tell you that one of the things about BlytheCon I'm finding out is it's really addictive. 
just being in a room with all these fellow doll collectors who, I mean, you come together, yeah, you shop, you spend obscene amounts of money, but you get to hang out with people that really have the same passion as you. Sorry, I can't get over her. Ooh, I should have said last but not least, but I realize that these, may I, if I could, do you mind if I just, thank you so much. Uh, these came in there and they say, it's like winner or prize or something. It's a winner. So let me see if I can open this with one foot holding down the bag. Maybe not. Make yourself useful, will you? Help me. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can open. Holy cow, you guys. In that black bag, there were two of them because I had two bags. There was this glorious little number. Oh my gosh, this is so detailed. Fluffy house. Um, I'm gonna do a separate, obviously, a, a dolly finds with these all on my dolls, but oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then in the other bag was this adorable BlytheCon skirt from Mademoiselle Etsy. And this bunny, this little like felt bunny. I'm dead right now. Okay, all right, so this is the stuff that, um, you wanna say hi? No, okay. This is the stuff that was in the gift bag and now I have the stuff that I actually bought. <laughs> so give me a second. All right, so here's the big picture of the haul. I'm a little bit embarrassed, but if you've ever been to a BlytheCon, there is a weird urgency to buy all the things, and I kind of bought all the things. Don't even think about it. Okay. So let me show you again. I'm going to have so much fun doing a Dolly Finds of all this stuff, but I just want to point out a couple of amazing things. So I think because my mom is a seamstress, I can tell when something has taken a lot of time uh, to put together. And this lilac number is so beautiful. It's by Little, Little Lovelies. Thank you. Oh, no, no, don't, don't eat the butterflies. Little Lovelies. And I could just tell that the beadwork. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, if you eat one of those, I will kill you. I'll get myself a new cat. I'm gonna take the little butterfly. <laughs> Try to eat it. banish you. Uh, anyway, so I met the owner, Cheyenne, I believe. She was so lovely. I absolutely loved her. And look at this bag. You make me happy. Don't. All right. So again, I'll, I'll put all of these on dolls so you can see them. But this one was also really cool. This is, I don't remember what the vendor was. Um, I will put links, of course. But I just thought this was really fun. This toggle coat. And these fun pants I just thought would look really cool with fall. Um, Kelly Knot was one of my favorite uh, vendors that I stopped by. They seem to be like a, a bunch of different shops together. And I thought this was kind of fun. I had to have that. So sporty. This was only $10, which, what? One of my absolute favorite shops um, to buy anyway is Momo Jojo. And I'd seen this one on... Etsy for a while. In fact, it's been in my cart for a while. So when I saw it in person, of course, I had no self-control. But this adorable little camera bag. And I'm always looking for fun jeans. So I love that. I love the patchwork. And these boots. Oh, so cute. A uh, couple of other things. Eye chips from Chantilly Lace. I guess I better get myself a Blythe, huh? This is Misfits Dolls. I thought this would be super fun if we did maybe a Halloween costume contest or something. And I just thought this would be really cute over a pair of jeans. This is something different, Row Dodo. It was like artwork and other stuff. And I just, I mean, it's a cat and it's a mermaid at the same time. Yes, please. How about this from Splatter Girl? Ah, so fun. I met the owner and she had flown in from London and she was flying back for uh, BlytheCon UK. And then last but not least, oh my gosh, I, I paid a fortune, yes, don't look at that. This outfit is going to make a doll. I don't even, I don't even know if I have a doll I can put this on yet. I might just frame it because it's just perfection. 
But yeah, so I mean, I know it was my birthday and I was acting super spoiled and stuff, but I kind of went crazy. Okay, so that is my experience of BlytheCon LA today. Thank you for coming with me on this awesome journey. Um, I had the most fun. I want to thank everybody who like came up and said hello and just made an all around great time. My only regret really is uh, right when I had gotten there, I was starting to get nervous and uh, one of my Facebook friends, Judith, had come up and I'd never met her in person. And she was so sweet and so welcoming and she took the edge right off. And then as I was about to leave, my phone died and I wasn't even able to say goodbye because this place was just jammed with people. But anyway, that's about it. So if you have any questions on anything that you saw today, I'd be happy to elaborate. But I'm going to do uh, a Dolly Fines video soon and we'll talk to you later.